Hello everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday. <laughs> it's always my favorite time of the week when I get to sit down and film this video for you guys because I absolutely love sharing what I find at the thrift stores. Um, those of you who thrift as often as I do, you understand the thrill of the hunt and all the fun things that you can find. So it's always such a pleasure for me to sit down with you guys. I feel like I'm sitting down with a group of friends and just like chatting about all the wonderful things that I found this week. So I hope you guys feel the same way um, because I enjoy this video so much. So I went to my favorite thrift store, which is unique, and I found some awesome things. I did get 25% off that day that I went because it was Thursday and I have 25% off that day, which is always a good thing where you can go to the thrift store and get it on sale, which is awesome. But as I'm looking at the things in front of me, it's funny because everything in front of me is either silver or glass based, <laughs> which is kind of silly. But I think it's because that's what's on my brain right now. I feel like that's what I want to use for my Christmas decor a lot this year. Although I haven't really started decorating yet, that is my plan for today. And I keep going back and forth about what I want to do, but I know for sure that my pewter pieces will end up in my decor this year and my oil lamps. So I'm thinking I might need to add, to add a few more glass items into the mix just to kind of make it all work. But anyways, that's for a different, <laughs> that's for a different day as I get off. It seems like I'm going to be very chatty today. I will try to rein it in a little bit and get through what I picked up this week. Um, just a handful of things, but everything is like super cool and delightful. So let's hop right on into what I picked up this week at the thrift stores. So the first thing I picked up was this little chimney. I thought maybe it would work for one of my um, oil lamps. It was originally 99 cents, so I picked it up for 74 cents with the discount. I think it may actually work. I have three that are on top of my hutch that I haven't gotten down to see if they'll work with. If it doesn't fit on my oil lamps, I'm going to use them on some candlesticks. I have a little growing collection of the candlesticks that have the little holder, you know what I'm talking about, that you can walk around with. So I thought this would look really pretty over one of those because I have one that actually came with the globe like this and I really like the look of that also. It adds just another little layer to the funness of it. So that's what I'll use it for. If it doesn't fit one of my oil lamps, but I thought for 74 cents, it was definitely worth checking to see if it would work on one of my oil lamps. <laughs> so the next item I picked up, I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be, but I know that I want to use it for a candle holder. It, I picked it up for $2.99, and it is this little tarnished silver dish right here. It's got the great little base on it. I'm assuming that maybe at one point it had like a covered dish on it, like a dome or something maybe. Either that or it is made for a candle, but I'm not sure. But it's got some nice detailing along the edges, and I just thought it was really nice and a very practical sort of item. Like um, what I was thinking I could do was add a glass jar candle into this to kind of spruce it up a little bit, or I might be able to find some little Christmas trees that I could like group on here, something like that. I don't know, or just, I don't know. There's many things I think you could do with something like this, just to kind of bump up the interest factor by adding this little piece into it. So I think this is gonna turn out to be a very nice, versatile piece for myself. So I'm loving, loving that. You could always put it on my plate rack just like this too, if I needed a little something. Oh yeah, yeah, Rama liked that idea. I don't know what you're going, I don't know what's going on with Rainbow today and yesterday. She's just like super clingy today. And it's like, I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. And I must be petting her at all times, <laughs> which is kind of hard when you want to get work done, but that's all right. So, all right. So this next item I picked up, I was very excited about because um, it's a piece of pewter and I'm always trying to grow my pewter collection. And I don't have anything like this. It's a little bowl. And I just thought the, the shape of it was really cool. Loved that so much. Um, this would be so, or so adorable for a little flower arrangement or like a tree in it or something. But what really, really caught my eye with it is it has an engraving on it, which I think is so cool. Can you see that? I don't know if it's going to show up very well in the 
glare. But it does say Fortum Farms Horse Trails 1987 on it. So I just think that's really cool. Anything with an engraving on it, whether it be, you know, a monogram or just things like this, I think is so neat. So um, it does have a sticker on the bottom of it. American Pewter Guild Limited Certified Pewter. Get see the little sticker down in there. There we go. So yeah, I just thought this was really cute. Love the shape of it. Love that it had some engraving on it. And I think this will come in handy in my decor come Christmas time or any time that I want to use a pewter piece. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> and then, of course, every time I'm at the thrift store, I have to look at the silver trays. Not that I need any more silver trays because I have a ton of them already. But this particular one caught my eye because I liked that it was sort of smaller and I loved the shape. It's a nice little school or rectangle sort of shape. I picked this up for what was it, $374. And I just think it is absolutely beautiful. It's really tarnished on the outside, but the middle isn't, which is kind of silly. Um what does it say? It does have a marking on the bottom. If I can read it. Odella? Something like that. Doesn't make a difference to me, really, to tell you the truth. I just really love the shape, and I loved the detailing on the sides, and I thought that was really, really nice. So this one, because it is um, half tarnished, half not, I'm probably going to get um, cleaned up a little bit so that it will be nice and shiny for me. Because um, I like to mix my pieces. Some of them I like to be super shiny. Some of them I like to be super tarnished. And it just kind of depends on my mood at the moment. So I like the silver both ways. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So I have two more items to share with you. And they are my two favorite finds of the week. The first one being another. <laughs> you guys are not going to believe this. But another oil lamp for $4.49. And it looks like this. Oh, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. I prefer these, you know, clear glass ones. I do have one that is a red glass one, but I really, really prefer these. So I was really excited to find it. It's got some nice detailing on it. And of course, it's got the lovely pedestal, which I absolutely adore in these lanterns. So I love this one. This one does not have the little... Um, wick in it so I'll have to get another wick for it but for now a wick and a chimney for it but oh my goodness you guys my collection is growing at a really alarming rate but I can't be upset about that because I love them so much but I think I need to probably slow down my roll just a little bit and make sure I'm kind of looking for more unique ones at this point because at some point I'm going to not have enough space to display them all the time because I, I'm, I'm afraid that I will get bored with them if I have get too many of them because I don't know I don't know that I'm gonna get bored with it but I just love them so I doubt that that's gonna be the case but oh I think they're so awesome but I do need to slow my roll just a little bit because I think this makes let's see one two three four five this makes six for big ones and then I think I have two small like two mini ones since this summer so I mean that's a lot but anyways I can't be upset about it because I love them so much, so <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> all right, so I have one more thing to share with you, and I don't even really know what this is. I'm assuming it's for, um, like, a floral display of some sort, but I could be wrong. I really don't know, but I saw it, and I absolutely fell in love with it. It was originally $4.99, and, and I picked it up for $3.74 with a discount for the day, and it's a silver piece, and it's just absolutely lovely. It looks like this. You see that? It is so gorgeous. And it's like this little pocket, which makes me think it's for like a floral display. So you can make the flowers kind of look like a fan. But I don't know. So if any of you really know 
what this is for. I would love to know what it is. What it is. They did have another one there. It was also silver, but it was not the same pattern. And it was much skinnier here. Like it was only open like about an inch or so. So I wasn't, I didn't know if I should get it or not. Because I really, like I said, don't know what these are for. I'm only guessing. But, so I decided just to get one of them. But the other one was much wider. Like I said, it was very thin, but it was like this wide. So I don't know. I, mean, I probably should have got it. But I mean... Since I don't know what this is, I probably shouldn't have got it. But I don't know. I would go back and forth. But anyways, I absolutely fell in love with this. I think it is the coolest thing ever. Um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's got so much going on. And I just think it is like so, so beautiful. I love the little footed, you know, base that it's got. And then it's got this bow on it. And... Is, I don't know. I thought this was a pineapple, but I don't think it's a pineapple now. But, I mean, there's just so much beautifulness going on here that I completely fell in love with it. So, I am excited to use this. Not quite sure how I'm going to use it, but I think it would be really fun to use it somewhere in my house. I'm thinking maybe my bedroom, like above my bed or something like that. Do a little floral arrangement in it for Christmas with like some roses and greenery like in front of a mirror i don't know that's kind of what's in my head but i don't know it's not going to fit anything else that's going on in that room so i probably won't do that but i just think it's a gorgeous gorgeous piece and i would i need to look it up and figure out what it is <laughs> so anyways that was my last find of the weekend i'm so excited it does have a sticker on the bottom that says made in india and it's got a nice little felt bottom and everything too so that is nice so, I am in love with that piece. I am in love with all of my silver pieces and all of my glass pieces this week. I feel like it was a fabulous week at the thrift store this week. All right, so I guess that's going to be it for me today. I would love to know down in the comments if you found something this week while you were out and about thrifting. Let me know what you found, why it makes you excited, that sort of thing. Love to hear those kind of stories. And if you didn't get out, I know a lot of you aren't able to get out to the thrift stores right now because things are kind of shutting down again. Um, we haven't had the point where the stores are shutting down, but we are definitely hunkering down and the girls are doing distance learning again starting this week. So we're in kind of shutdown mode as well, kind of self-imposed a little bit, um, but I still go to the grocery store once a week and I go to the thrift store once a week as long as they will keep it open. <laughs> so. Um, those are my two items for the week. So anyways, I would love to know if you did go thrifting, what you found. If you didn't, I would love to know your favorite item that I picked up this week. And I hope that you guys will come back again next week and watch another Thrift Store Thursday and hang out with me. I would appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I do a Thrift Store Thursday every single Thursday. I also do decorating and lifestyle videos on my channel as well. All right, guys, have yourself a wonderful day, and I will see you again very soon in my next video, and if not, at least next week for Thrift Store Thursday. All right, guys, bye.